And at this very moment, I'm so excited that uh, this conference wouldn't have been possible without this person that I'm going to introduce to you. She is in the person of Mrs. Martha Ousu Ado, who is the director and the visionary for Way to Africa. She is a chartered accountant by profession, but her love and drive for her mother continent moved her with the support of her dear husband, Mr. Alex, and they've put this unique conference together. Then Gates, please help me welcome Mrs. Martha Ousu-Ado. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you so much for coming. I'm looking at the numbers and I'm so surprised. I did respect this. Thank you for making the time to listen to us talking about investment opportunities in Africa. Yeah? Okay. 
Right, I'll tell you why you should be investing in Africa. The sheer size of the population. So look at this graph here. Africa is 1.2 billion people. By the year 2100, this is where Africa is going to be, 4.2 billion. This is where Europe is 639 million and it's just going to be flat. What it means is the number of people being born, so that's Europe flat, that's Africa rocketing four times its population. So the number of people being born in um, Europe is more or less equal to the number of people dying. And so Europe is projected to be strained. Now Africa, Africans like giving birth. I've got four kids. And my mom still wants me to have more. So um, <laughs> 4.2 billion people. 4.2 billion people. They all eat, they sleep in a house, they wear shoes, they make up, they go to school, they have mobile phones. So the consuming market is there. Anything you have will sell in Africa. Now the middle class, 30% of African population are in the middle class. So who is a middle class person? A middle class person is someone who has a job, is able to afford three square meals, has a house, uh, rents or owns it, that's fine. Save some money for entertainment, holiday, that is a middle class person. 30% of Africa's population are in this bracket. My daughter met, worked the mass up last night and there were 650 million people uh, in the middle class. And this is set to double. So by the, in 15 years time, 60% of Africa's population will be in the middle class. That's not far. That's like um, 2035, 60% of Africa's population are going to be in the middle class. I've got other facts here. So fastest growing um, countries are from Africa. Um, rich in minerals, the labor markets, 60% of the population are under the age of 25. There's one thing I want to talk about is the Africa Intercontinental Free Trade Agreement. I don't know if you've heard about that, but that started, that got implemented last week. What this is saying is you could be anywhere in Africa and you could trade within Africa without any tariffs. And so for investors in this room, Let's say you are going to invest in Botswana, which has just 3 million people, and so your market is just 3 million people. Now, because of this agreement, your market is 1.2 billion people. You can trade from one African country to the other with no tariffs. So you can have your company in Uganda and be supplying to Ghana. You could be north and supply to the south. That is brilliant, and I, I think that's an opportunity. When I bring it home, if you set up a company where you're just going to be producing, let's say, nappies. You are not looking at just the small markets where you are set up, but you are looking at all the African markets. It's at your disposal. Yeah? So last time we checked, there were more people born in Nigeria alone than the whole of Europe. Yes. And so if you are looking at um, setting up a nappy or a baby food um, company, where should you be looking at? Thank you. Now there's an area that's quite passionate, I'm quite passionate about, and uh, it's agriculture. Africa spends $20 billion importing food when it has all the land, the rain, all the factors are great for agriculture. And yet we spend 20 billion US dollars importing food to feed the people of Africa. Because we tend to do subsistence farming, we grow on a smaller scale. And this is another opportunity for people to go in and do commercial farming. And I can see the Chinese are doing it and there are a lot of people doing it, but it's a huge opportunity. The factors are there for agriculture, so you can look at that. Um, there's a, an opportunity that no one talks about. It's a gold mine, waste management, a lot of waste. This is Nakwa, by the way. A lot of waste. No one is managing it. it in the UK, it's six billion pounds industry. Africa, no one's really doing a good job. There are companies that are doing it, but there, there, there is room for improvement there. So waste management. Now, what is way to Africa? What do we do? And why do we do what we do? So way to Africa put this program together. We, there's going to be more in the future, more and more. And we're going to go into
specified sector. So next time, we'll probably just do agriculture, we'll do finance, we'll do real estate, and we'll do smaller, and we'll travel, we're on wheels, we'll just travel. Today is Milton Keynes, the next time it might be London, we'll come to Liverpool, we'll come to um, Nottingham, Birmingham, everywhere in the UK. Now, why we do what we do is we want to see more trade and investment between Europe and Africa. So we will facilitate trade and investment into Africa. So let's say you are a business and you are looking for a partner, a local partner, to, um, to sell your goods to, the, to Africa, or you're looking to import from Africa. So let's say you want to buy um, tea from Ethiopia, or import cotton from um, Ethiopia, or tea from Kenya, Uganda, or cocoa powder from Cote d'Ivoire, or Ghana, we will help you source from the right place. If you're looking to set up a branch, so you've got a company here, you want to set up another branch in Ghana locally, we will help you with um, getting your visas, setting up everything, and making sure you succeed. We've got loads of representatives dotted around the continent, so we'll introduce you to a consultant who will guide you through your investment. If you're looking to a source part of your business, so you have a business here, you just want part of it to go um, somewhere to cut costs, you can look at Africa and we'll help you. If you just want someone to be the face of your company, so you don't want to go, but you want someone to just be the face and represent you in Africa, where to Africa can support you with that. Um, right, so we do trade shows as well. Um, we take people to Africa. We're doing one to Ghana soon. We'll be doing another one to Kenya, Nigeria. So if you are interested in all these um, trade shows, so you want to test out your business plan, you want to actually visit Africa and see if your plan is going to work, see us at the back. Um, the way to Africa stand is down there. If you see anybody there, we'll book you onto the trade show. We'll take you, accommodation, everything, and then we'll show you, we'll arrange for you to meet the right people to test out your business before you kick off. Um, Right, there's this project that we are working on, and I just want to sort of tell you and see if there's anybody in the room who's interested in it. I've got here 1.5 liter orange juice. 1.5 liter orange juice. In, well, I did some market survey, so it sells for four pack for £2.95 in Sainsbury's. In Asda and Tesco, it's four for £2.80. So average is for 80p. In Ghana, this sells for £2.50 to £3, depending on where you buy it. So £2.50 to £3, this 1.5 litre drink, and it's 80p here. That is because it's not made locally, it's imported from either South Africa or the UK or Europe somewhere. And so obviously we have the freight on top, clearance, duty, and all that on top of it. And so it sort of sells higher. I've seen people packing cooking oil from Tesco shop floor to ship to Africa to go and sell. So imagine the producers produced it, sold it, Tesco's put their profit on it, put it on the shelf, and we buy it from Tesco shelves, and then export it, clear it, put it on a shelf in let's say Ghana, Uganda, or wherever in Africa you're talking about, and then sell it. So by the time it gets there, the price is three, four times the original price. Yeah? And this is why we need to start establishing these plants locally, and we will make the profit. Because imagine that this is three times the price it sells in the UK, but it is still selling. Then there's definitely a lot of room to make margin when you set up the plant locally. Am I making sense? Excellent. Right, so this is the project. This project I'm talking about, the company has already is setting up the, um, the structure. It's in Accra, Ghana. It's estimated to be about 2.5 million pounds. They're setting up the um, structure. They, are, they have 250 acres of land. So they're going to grow the oranges, they're going to grow the citrus, they're going to grow all the, um, the fruits to make the orange juice or apple juice or whatever in Ghana and sell to the local market. They're looking for somebody to come in at 50%. If you're interested in this project at all, you want to know more, we've got the business plan, we've got everything. You come to the back, 
and we'll email you more details about that project. There are a lot of projects we have. We have the financial sector in Ghana, they've just done a clean up, and most of the banks and micro companies are struggling. I don't know if you've heard about it, because they couldn't meet up the capital. They're looking for people to put in money to invest. We've got loads of them as well. If you are interested in it, see us at the back or see me personally, and we will give you details about that. Um, I'm going to get you to do an exercise for me. And it's a very short exercise. You've got pens and notepads. I hope everybody's got a pen and a notepad. What I want is for you to write on a clean notepad, by the way, because I'm, we're going to collect it. your name, so mine is Martha Ousu Ado. Then you write your email address. We want to know how Way to Africa can assist you. We are on a mission. We want to see more trade and partnership and investment partnership happening between Africa and the UK. We want to support you, whatever you want to do. So you tell us your name, email address, telephone number. How can Way to Africa support you? What is your interest in Africa? And how can we support you? So mine is, I like to set up a shoemaking factory in Ethiopia. Or I like to invest in the banking sector in Ghana. Or I'm looking to buy some uh, cocoa powder from Cote d'Ivoire or Ghana. So write that. Let me know when you're done. Then you write the company you work for, so currently, so let's say you work with um, BT or Shell, you just write the company you work for at the end. Right, when you're done, I need a volunteer from each table to take everybody's. One person volunteer from each table. Collect everybody's paper, please.